Walk me about it. In 1.35, Washington has released. Sorry about no videos in a while. Uh, there's been some problems with the uh, the drives and stuff. We got a new truck out here today. Harbick has released this truck over on the workshop. This is a uh, a Kenworth W990. Um, pretty nice looking truck. Um, it just released yesterday, so there's not a lot of options to it, but th there will be more. It'll bring more. The only thing I don't like about it, it doesn't have any hood mirrors. Other than that, it's a great looking mod. Harbert done a really good job of this mod. So we got uh, we got 198 miles to go. We got 3 hours and 49 minutes to do it. We're hauling a load of pallets. We're going down to Flagstaff, Arizona. And we're in a little small town. I, I can't remember the name of this town because I think this is one of the towns that gives you from when they're using the MHA Pro Map. The MHA Pro Map has been updated and we are using that. The real company's mod has been updated and we are using that. Here's the inside of this truck. Looks good. Truck today is running a Cummins uh, I-15 Performance Series engine. 600 horsepower. Has 18 speed transmission. So let's get on the road. Fun getting out of here. Are we already stuck? There we go. It didn't want it don't want to go, does it? We're probably stuck. Let me put the... I don't know. It should let us go out this way because we come in this way. What are we... There we go. Be a little stubborn, I don't know what Like I said this is a brand new truck. It just released, so you know there may be some bugs with it. I did make a run with it. And it, it is a nice truck. I mean I think Harvard done a really good job with it with bringing this truck and bringing it over to the workshop. I mean Hoping to see uh, some nice future updates for this truck. Bringing some more stuff to it. Going to cab here. Diff lock is on. Let me turn that off. There we go. This is a 2000, I want to say it's probably a 2019 or 2020 um, W990. Get ready to turn left. We also now have, as you heard there, we have the uh, navigation system now that SCS did release with the uh, 1.5 update. ATS. Using a traffic mod too, so traffic's a little more heavier than normal.
can't really see too good in a cab. Pull up a little bit more here. had so much problems guys I do apologize for no videos my uh, drives uh, they updated the drives I use GeForce drives and they updated the drives and when they updated them they took all support away from uh, recording this game and recording GTA 5 for LSPD Turn left. Turn right. So I had to wait for them to re-update it. They finally re-updated it and put the support back. For both of them. Very nicely done truck. This truck comes with a, a, quite a few uh, different interior options. Uh, this black is one. It's like a um, a gray and a like a beige color. Also, so not a bad looking truck at all. Really nicely done. I mean, and you know, Harvard putting it out, it, it'll get a lot of attention because he has some good trucks. Uh, I do apologize for not being able to do a live stream in Washington. Maybe we'll still be able to do one. Um, you know, now that my recording is back working like it should be. Um, Viper has updated his truck, so his truck is working. Um, there's a few of my truck that has not been updated yet, but eventually, you know, they will be updated. I know Harvard has updated all of his. Uh, the 377 has been updated for the new version here. All, just about all of them on the workshop that I know of has been updated just about. It's always good to see another truck like this come to the workshop, though. We need some good trucks over there. Go straight on. Maybe that traffic mine caused me a few stutters. I'm thinking that's what it is. I may have to take that traffic mod out.
just kind of being quiet, looking at the sights. Um, some of this, uh, I think this little town that we just left is one of the towns that comes with the MHJ Pro Map. The MHJ Pro Map adds some um, certain little towns across the map. It's the uh, base uh, game with the basic map of everything that SCS has done, but it, add, it adds so much more. Um, it adds uh, realistic truck stops, adds a few more towns here and there. Um, it adds uh, more companies to the game, so it's um, it's a really good map mod. And there are two versions. There's a paid version and a free version. Um, I have the free version. I mean, the paid version is not very much. It ain't like two dollars or three dollars or something like that. But I have the you know the free version right now. Where's the traffic we're going so we can get on down the road, guys? We need to get a thumbnail here. Matter of fact, we'll just go ahead and get it right here. So we can get that over with. Get a front shot of the truck. It is it is a neat, good looking truck. I just wish you had hood mirrors. Man, that would that would really be good to see. I'm trying to get that about right there. There we go. Now the paint uh, job uh, is uh, it's on here. Come with it. It has some preset uh, paint skins already on the truck. The Harvard done. So we do appreciate that. You know, man, that's good to see when you do get them. Uh, when trucks come out, and they do have them. The sound mod, if you can hear, you can hear it pretty good uh, through my, well, I can hear it good through my headset, you know, you can hear the truck on the road and stuff. The sound mod has been updated that I use over also on the workshop, so all that's been updated for this newest version. Now, and like I said before, I do not use a, a wheel. I use the Xbox uh, 360, Xbox One controller. So, yeah, my driving is not perfect. I mean, and I'll be honest with that. I mean, it's not because 
I am using a controller, so it doesn't it doesn't handle near as good as a wheel. So we're about 60 miles out from our truck. This truck also comes in a day cab option. It comes with two cab options on the work truck. Um, comes with the uh, sleeper version like this one here. And it comes with a uh, day cab. Our customer is expecting the load very soon. Well, we're not too far off, so I think we'll make it on down. We're about 50 miles out. So I think we'll be okay with that. That's just the music that they play when you're getting close to your delivery. I do hope that we've got everything settled where, where we can start doing more videos because I want to get back into doing more videos. So we're not very far off now guys, we got about, about 20 miles, a little, little, bit, little bit more than that. But I have to say, this game is it's coming along great, I mean it looks gorgeous, even with this this graphics mod that we're using, um, I mean, it even makes it better than what it already is, I mean Washington is, is really good. And if you haven't heard, uh, SCS should announce the next state, we all thought it was going to be that. They haven't officially come out and announced it, but with the trailer, the little teaser that they did do, we're all pretty sure that it's going to be Utah. It's going to be the next state they're going to. We don't know where they're going to go after that. I mean, 
but and it will be out later this year from what they've said so we are going to get two states this year which is great to see So we'll be at our drop here in just a minute. And then turn right. We'll have to see what kind of drop we're going to have here. Uh, turn right. This should be an easy one. I think we're dropping it fed edge. Yeah, we're dropping his bed eggs. So this should be a pretty easy drop. I've been here before. Turn right. You have arrived at your destination. Your route guidance is now finished. Let's see if we can find our little point here where we have to stop. Nope, not there. Okay, there's a bit. We had to have passed it. I don't know if I like that. I may have turned that off and turned the other one back on that I was using. So we're going to do our backing. I well, only want a different, different place. That's good. Turn around here. And that backup alarm that I'm using, that's a mod that's over on the Steam Workshop. Not too bad. There we go. Good teeth.
All right, we drove, it had excellent. We drove 198 miles. It took us five hours and 52 minutes to get here. We consumed 43.8 gallons of fuel on that trip. We're gonna check our current job offers for this area. And we got three. And well, then we have one going to Vegas. These are going to Oregon. These would be long trips. Uh, I'll probably be doing these off camera, so. What, what we're hauling, I don't think we need to, to even use a, a trailer like that, so, not a reefer trailer, well that's all of it is a reefer trailer, I don't know. We're hauling that, what are we hauling that, like a, what is that? Frozen, okay, it's frozen fruits. Okay, I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't pay that no attention. So yeah, you do need a reefer trailer. Okay, I understand that now. I didn't even look at what we saw, and I thought it said something different. So we'll just do, um... We just do a FedEx one. Change that over to a 53 footer. And we'll hook up to that. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. Yeah, this is a thousand, uh, 170 miles. You know, we're not going to do that on the video. Um, this is going to be it for this video. We want to show off this new truck. This truck is on the workshop now. This is a W990. Um, it's made by Harvard. Um, just come out yesterday, so I mean, I'm pretty sure he's got more stuff to do to it. You know, to get it, whatever else he wants to add to it right now. Um, all in all, very, very nicely done mod. Uh, Harvard does you would work on his mods. And it's uh, good to see another truck on the workshop. Uh, thank you for everyone who watches. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And uh, everyone have a good day.